Hello and welcome to Guitars for Bars. This is the second video of the painting of the Iron Mockingbird. The first video took over four hours to upload. So in the meantime, I finished the back, I finished the neck, and I finished the headstock. And... I put some dots on the neck, real big dots. I got to work on those a little bit yet. And I did uh, the base coat on the front. So uh, we're ready to get started painting the front. Okay, I'm going to play some songs that me and a friend of mine were working on back in 2006. I haven't heard it in a long time. It's kind of rough. But I need something to listen to while I'm working, and it's not copyrighted, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to start in this section right here with my darkest colors or tones that I'm going to use. And I'm going to work my way out from here. And then when that's dry... I'll do the next section up here. When that's dry, I'll do this section here. When that's dry, I'll do the border. So this is going to take a number of hours. So I'm gonna do a little bit, shut the camera off. And then when it's done, take a picture, do the next section the same way, next section. And uh, it may take a couple videos. I'm using a much smaller brush this time. All the rest of it was already done with, a, I used a quarter inch. So that's why it looks so rough. So now I'm going back and doing my details with a smaller brush. If you watched the first video, you know I'm kind of going for like a galvanized steel look. So basically cross hatching the paint and trying to get some shading in there.
I want it darker down on this end, so I gotta keep going back and adding a little bit more black to get it there as it dries. A little careless there. That gets overlapped with the flames. That's why I'm doing this part first. This is the, the farthest, be, deepest part. Then this will be sitting on top of that. And then this will be sitting on top of that. And then this will be sitting on top of all that. And then I'm gonna have a drop shadow on everything. Try to make it look like it's really, really 3D. And here, like I said, a drop shadow. I just put some of that in right now. See, it won't look right because it's upside down, but when I turn it over, it'll look great. Ah, stick my finger in it. That's okay. I was gonna save the drop shadow for last, but I'll go show it and put a little bit there so you can see. better to do it while it's wet anyway. This is the part that when people see it, they like this, when I do this on other stuff, they're like, oh, did you airbrush that? I'm like, no, I didn't airbrush it, I just used a brush. But see, you probably wonder, why aren't I using an airbrush? Well, they clog up, they're a mess. They're, I'm gonna use one on one of these projects, but I like using the paint because what I can do here is different than what you can do with an airbrush. I can get all this texture in there and uh, I can mix the paint right on the guitar or on a canvas or whatever I want to paint it on. So when it dries, it's all one, one coat. You know, it's not one color over another color. It's all one solid unified thing. And I think that's pretty cool looking when you see it. It looks neat. I want this part here to look like it's really, really deep. So I've got a pretty, pretty hard drop shadow right there. And when I get up here, it won't be as dramatic. Okay, I gotta put one on the other part too. But this is only a little bit these flames are only a little bit above this, where this is way above this. So, gotta show that kind of like it really would be. There's only a little bit of a shadow under it. You'll see at the end of the video what I'm talking about. You can probably get a general idea. Flip your TV or your phone upside down if you want a better look. <laughs> And I'm going to put a highlight on the flames too when I do those. So they're going to look three dimensional too. The idea here is to not just get the flames on it. I want it to look like you can just reach in there and grab it. I'm 
And since it's dark there, it needs to be light on top of the, the flame there to help create that, that depth. I need to get me a piece of parchment paper for under my hand. So when I stop, I'm gonna do that. piece of dirt right there trying to get rid of oh no not the same song again I must have uh, I had two versions on there or something Well, it's about time to turn this off and finish this section and then move on to another. You get the general idea of what's going on here. So I'm gonna finish this section, take a picture of it, and then we'll move on to the next because I'm sure you wanna see how the flames are gonna sit on top of that. Please hit like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks. All right, got just enough time left to show you how far I got and what it looks like. So uh, it's kind of tough to tell yet in this lighting, but you get the idea of the drop shadow. All right, so we'll go on and do another video of the next part.